Hi everyone, we recently received a request from Slovenia. This is the question from Lucia. I am a student and I need to draw MEP low energy house installation. I need some videos about floor gully, how I connect it with pipes, heat pump and underfloor heating. Well, in this video, I will address the sewage system, including floor gully. Enjoy! As preparation for this modeling, I have previously inserted some objects in the model. We see here a toilet, a wash basin, a shower cabinet, and a floor gully with a siphon box. So, I will start by creating a pipe stack in this installation wall. So, left click here to start this pipe. Uh, I will start this pipe from the story below and the pipe size will be 100 diameter nominal and the group, the medium group is wastewater but the medium is domestic wastewater. So click OK and the new mounting height will be 1.2 meters and I will press OK. So I'll press escape and here is the stack in 3D. I will directly connect this stack to the toilet, so I will select the object and I'll make an automatic connection with this option to stack connect at same height. Here is the, the, the preview. Click OK and here it is the result. Now I will start the pipe again the pipe function and connect it to the floor gully. As you can see, it recognizes some connections. Bear in mind the function use smart snaps must be activated in order to recognize connections. So click on this option, and as you can see, the pipe slope is, is active, but the direction of the slope is not correct. So, if I open the context menu, I can directly switch the slope. So, now it's OK. And for in, in this case, I will just create one segment and press Enter and do the same uh, with this right connection, connection to the right. Again, I will switch slope and connect uh, and click here to end this pipe segment and press Escape. If we look in 3D, this is what I have created so far. Now I can select this shower cabinet, right mouse click and also make an automatic connection. I will select the option down to drain then direct. Here it is the preview and I'll click OK. And it's already connected. The same thing for the wash basin. So I, uh, I click on the object and I select the option to automatic connect. And in this case, I will select the option to drain. So, all objects are already connected. Now, I will connect this uh, floor gully to the stack pipe. So, I start the pipe function again. I will, and I will select this pipe connection. Now, the slope uh, direction is uh, already correct. I left click and move to stack. And it will connect to this um, mounting height below. Uh, a dialog asks which type of angle to the T I would like to select. And in this case, I will select the option slope downwards. If we look in 3D, this is what uh, DDS CAD creates a junction T uh, connection. Now I will select this band, right mouse click, because I have the possibility to replace by two bands. This is the distance between the bands, and this is the result. It looks much better in 3D. Now, I will end this modeling by inserting ventilation pipe. To do so, I will start the pipe function again and I will move to this pipe segment. As you can see, T has been inserted. 
but I will modify some parameters like I will change uh, rotate the, the branch direction to go up but instead of 135 angle uh, like in a junction I will make a insert like a 90 degrees angle to to be vertically connected and the branch will be 50 millimeters as you can see the card already indicates the T part product from the product database I will automatically start this uh, this pipe from the T so click OK and the absolute or the mounting height for this pipe will be minus point zero zero twenty five so two centimeters and a half so click OK and I will move this pipe inside the installation wall right mouse click because I have the option that from the last position I can go upwards uh, the hot key for this option is the page up so I'll click OK and now I will insert the new mounting height of 1.1 press escape and here it is the result this pipe is not a ventilation yet so I'll double click this this pipe and I will deactivate the medium association so that I can allow that my system have a different pipe medium so in the medium I will change from the mass wastewater to ventilation pipe next in the tap direction and pause I will deactivate the slope so click OK and as you can see now I don't have any indication of slope anymore if I come to the 3D we also see that the pipe is slightly over um, the floor if I go closer and I select the band I still have space to move down okay so if I zoom out a little bit we see that the pipe is below the floor and here it is my end result in 3D and in 2D if you like this video share with your colleagues if you have any questions or suggestions like Lucia, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!